Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today we're gonna to be doing a photo shoot with the Sony a7C and the Sony 400 millimeter f2.8 lens. And we have the beautiful Juliet Soro here. She has an awesome outfit. Well, how would you describe this? Um, Amazonian, Athena, the goddess of war. There you go. <laughs> Something along those lines. We're gonna be shooting also with the 8600 Pro Monolite Flash with the Angler Boombox 48 inch. We're gonna be using the X2T trigger. I'm actually gonna to have to be pretty far this lens. It's not really made for portraits, but uh, we're gonna have some fun with it today. You see this more with a lot of sports or a lot with wildlife photography, but um, we have a wild Amazonian here. So exactly. we gotta capture that. All right, so this lens is so tight, I have to be pretty far away from her. Because it is a heavy lens and it's such a tight focal length, ideally it's best to actually be running on a tripod or a monopod. So I'm using the iFootage TA5 tripod. I have the C-Stars quick release system here. So then I can easily mount and dismount from the lens and the tripod. So I'm roughly, what is this, like 40, 35, 40 feet away from you probably. It's a good distance. Right here, I'm only getting like slightly below your waist and above your head. So looks pretty dope though. I'm liking this shot. All right, let's do it. Also to minimize any extra shake, I also do have a two second timer. So anytime I'm taking the photo, I actually have a two second timer so that way any of the vibrations from even pressing down the shutter, minimizing any type of motion blur. Or bring your shoulder back the way it was kind of a little bit more this way. Bring the sword a little bit higher and then slightly more angled. Yeah, to give more definition to the arm. There we go like that, yup. Show me what the crouching would, would look like. I'm trying to figure out what would look best if I'm lower. The great thing about this lens is that I'm actually able to have it mounted and then right here is a knob for me to switch between vertical and horizontal orientation. So actually you don't have to take off the actual base plate. Okay, let me do a test shot first. Okay, so I definitely gotta change the exposure here a little bit. It does look badass though. Okay, so right here where I'm currently at is a very close shot of just your elbow to your head okay. and the sword and it looks like really epic. Now that we're more backlit here, I gotta change the shutter speed to adjust more for your lighting. So right now we were shooting at one two thousandth of a second. Now we're gonna go to one five hundredth of a second. All right, now we're gonna do a test shot using the flash at full power. So just one quick test shot. Okay, it's a little too bright. So I'm gonna change the uh, output flash to quarter power. Your elbow, um, bring it slightly this way, just a little, just a little. So it doesn't, you can go, kind of back where it was, just that way it doesn't fully cover the uh, the sword. Relax and thoughtful, more pensive. I'm gonna do one where I'm higher than you pointing down at you. All right. Also, when you're carrying around all this equipment, make sure you have a buff person with you, like my friend Amari who's filming back here because there's a lot of gear. Couldn't have done this without him.
Where can people find you at? At Juliet Sorrell on Instagram. Yep. Model, actress, director, writer. She does it all. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are interested in getting any of the gear that I use today, I do have links in the description where you can purchase them from either BH Photo or Amazon. It doesn't change the price that you get at, but it does help this channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.